Hello, Greebos, and welcome back to Downloadable Content. And I assume you're here for one thing and one thing only. You want to become the most powerful Jedi you can think of in Blade and Sorcery. And good news, I'm bringing you nine mods that help you get there. Sit back, relax, and let me show you the way of the Force. Our first mod on today's list is nothing too exciting, but you need to have it. It's called Force Physics by If Kenshi Mods. And this one's not, you know, in particular to Star Wars, but I'm letting you know it's kind of a must. What this one does, it gives the enemies full physics even when you're not engaging them. U10 added like a quality thing to help with performance, but eh, it breaks immersion. And basically the NPCs don't uh, fight and make collision with each other unless this is turned on or you have engaged them. So, with lightsabers, you're going to want to duel. So, eh, take a look at this one. Let's spawn a few dudes to take a look at some better force physics and let these enemies actually kill each other. All right, let's try this galactic free-for-all, maybe. Here we go. So, these two goons now that the physics has been turned on, they'll actually battle it out. Which, it's unfortunate that a mod has to solve that. I mean, I don't know why they did it for U10. They said it's for the dungeon. But, you know, it, it's sad when the NPCs don't actually fight and can't kill each other, but yeah, now they can kill each other, they can dismember each other. I don't know why none of them spawned with a lightsaber, but that's on them. So this one, I absolutely recommend if you want to do some Star Wars battles, go oh, because it is a ton of fun. Moving right along, we have Latin or Latin Force, depending on what side of the world you're on. This one's by Linica. This is the epitome of Star Wars. It gives you full control over the Force. You can do Force Push and you can move objects around. I've used it before in other videos, but this is definitely a quintessential mod. So you're using the Latin or Latin Force, and for I'm just going to call it Latin Force. You guys can fight me later. So you want to make sure that you have no um, other spells selected. And with your hands, you're going to hold the trigger on either one of them, and you're going to move it up. And you're going to see these, like, weird particles. It's hard to see in Moss Eisley. I'll try to get to a spot where it has better contrast. But there's going to be these other particles that, like, go up. And you'll feel it in your controllers, and that's how you know that it's working. So this dead guy, if I don't want to see him anymore, I can just be like, force throw! <laughs> and you can do it in multiple different directions. You could do this... Once enemies have blaster bolts, unfortunately, they don't have them right now, you can move them away. You can do it with fireballs. It's just a, a ton of fun to use. Look at this guy. He brought two lightsabers, and that's not fair because I have one. Well, I can use the real force to push him backwards. And he's like, what? What? Yeah, the force is absolutely not oh, strong with him. Throw. So it's, it's fun to use. Absolutely lore-friendly. It's, it's a must-have, to be honest with you. If you're not using this already and I'm showing it to you, you're going to get this one in Linux's Discord so you, too, can have real force powers. Up next, we have Dark Chains by Little Husky. This one enables you to force choke people, but they don't die. But you can hold them in midair and just leave them there. And you can just grab their limbs and, you know, it does a bunch of things. I love using this one, especially when I want to be all Star Wars because, you know, you're going to feel like a Sith using this one, I promise. Dark Chains lets you feel like a super Sith. And here's how you activate it. You're going to hold your spell wheel and it's going to be yellow. I recommend using spell wheel enhancer so you can understand what's in your wheel here. But let's select this weird yellow one. You see this man? What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the grip button. And that one just allows me to hold them in place. And now I can actually let go. And letting him go, well, he snapped his own neck, but letting him go, I can move them and hold them in place like I'm a super strong force user and just manipulate their body beyond what is normally possible in Blade and Sorcery. Look at him. He's like, are you serious? Yeah, grab him, turn him upside down, and just hold him there. Like, I'm the most powerful being. I'm just holding him there, not doing anything. And then, you know, you just have your fun in however way you see fit. And if you want to release them, just grab the points that are chained up. Up next, we have Magical Ward by Wooly. Now, this one might not be canonical to the Star Wars universe, but I think it fits in. You could spawn like an energy shield in front of you and block lightsabers. You could block anything with it. Blaster bolts, once enemies can use them, I guess. But block lightsabers, block whatever you want, and it looks cool. The Magical Ward can be used in either hand you want because it's a spell, and you're going to see it as this crazy-looking W. So now when I hold the trigger button, I'm going to spawn some force shield in front of me. And it's also a physical object, which is kind of cool. So you can throw them. They disappear, but you can still throw them, which is excellent. But it's great as a normal defense, especially when you're casting with your own lightsaber. 
You see this clown? He's gonna attempt to attack me, so I'm just gonna turn on my magic shield, block him, and look at that cool effect when it hits. Like I said, it may not be from Star Wars, but it's definitely very cool looking because it feels like, God, it's lore friendly. <laughs> it is so fun to use. Bring it on, Sith. Catch that shield. Duel. Oh my gosh, this is so epic. 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 He's like, what should I do? Yeah, pick that up. Come on. I can step through my own shield and have the ultimate combo. Gah! <laughs> yeah, so make sure you have this one. As you can see, I'm having a ton of fun with it. Up next, we have Zero Effort Telekinesis by Genix. Yes, you can use Latin or Latent Force depending on, you know, your style, but, you know, sometimes you might want to role play as different types of Jedi. You don't want to be able to just solely push people only. You want to be able to pick them up first and then push things around. And this one lets you do it with relative ease. Zero Effort Telekinesis is just another thing that adds like another layer uh, for you as a Jedi. So normally you could pick up weapons with relative ease, uh, but this one enables you to actually wield things even better using telekinesis. So if I wanted to use a lightsaber in telekinesis mode, this is the better way of doing it. Look, look how much control I have over this in general. I could be like, hua, 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 and use it just like this. That's combat right there, which is cool. Now, the other part of it is that you can control people's like, you know, appendages and stuff like you're just kind of you know, picking up a weapon. Like I can easily cast that around. Look how weightless this kind of feels right now. I am one with the force. And you could blast them really far away with this one. Moving on is an optional file that you probably should have downloaded when you downloaded the Outer Rim. And that's called Force Sensitive by Alex. This one lets you jump higher and also lets you push people using the gravity spell. But let's just boil this one down to it lets you jump like a Jedi. So Force Sensitive also enhances the gravity ability as well. So this one will feel more like a force push when you're actually using it. But like I showed you before, uh, latent force can kind of take care of that. So what I recommend using Force Sensitive for is jumping really high. So you can jump normal height or I can hold it down and look how high I could just jump. This is just straight up Jedi jump if I ever seen one, which makes exploring maps, but also overall combat extra fun using force sensitive. Moving right along, we have Time Stop by Little Husky. And you're probably thinking, Drifter, are you crazy? Jedis can't stop time. I know. Listen, it's my mod list. I'm just showing it to you. I use Time Stop to get into like those clashes if I want to be cinematic with them. And you know, you could start and stop time. Did my headset just freeze? Son of a bitch. It just feels cool. So if you know how to use it, use it. But whatever, I'm telling you, it's fun to use. In our spell wheel, this red one is the time stop. And it will do exactly what you need it to do. So there's a guy right there. I press the trigger, time stop. It literally time stops everything so you can interact and do some funny things. But how does this relate to Star Wars? Well, I will show you how this relates to Star Wars. Imagine this guy's about to strike me. I go into slow-mo first, then I hold the trigger, well, I press the trigger, I should say, and look, it feels like I'm just kind of like, ah, in a clash. I know I'm not really in a clash, but like I said, it's for huh, visual stuff. <laughs> so you can really make yourself feel like you're in an epic Star Wars duel. You have two lightsabers, huh? Well, get ready for, huh, gah, uh oh. <laughs> Come on, Sith, you've lost a hand already. We're gonna do some epic battles and we're gonna get into a sword clash. Gah! Look at this. Gah! You think the force is strong with you? Well, you already lost a hand. How about losing? Ugh! Oh, he's like, wow, you chopped my whole arm off and that felt bad. And now I also have a red and green lightsaber. Merry holidays. Our penultimate entry on today's list is Force Lightning by Pi Pop. Yes, you can use normal lightning, but this one is Force Lightning. So if you want to use some Sith lightning abilities, look no further than Pi Pop's Force Lightning. Force Lightning actually just takes the place of normal lightning. So don't look where like, oh, is there another one? No, there's not. And it turns it into this. Look, unlimited power. Look how insane that is. That is much larger than anything else. You foolish Jedi. <laughs> look at him. He's getting blasted away. <laughs> He's floating around. How insane is this one? Sucks to be you, not Mace Windu. And when you mix it with other powers, man, like using Leighton, I could be like, get out of here. <laughs> oh man, this is way too much fun. Unlimited power. 
Our final entry on today's list is more Kyber colors by Pills the Reaper. And this one is kind of, it's hard to show because he mixed all the new colors in with the old colors. So they're, they're in there. But I promise you there are a ton more colors and I will try to find them for you. I'm going to try my best here. Let's go into the Kyber collection. First thing we're going to need is to locate the tool. And you'll notice that this pack moves the tool like in the middle. And let's hit those colors out. So there are a lot more that was added. I think like now you could just do the normal dark saber blue. That's an <laughs> these are all normal ones that I'm looking at. But I promise you, there's a ton more in this pack. Like was this purple unstable one there before? I don't know. I don't remember. But then now there's also like a lilac color, which looks pretty crystal. Depths. Whoa, that's almost too blue. Oh, Crystal Azure. This one's going to look awesome. Oh, man. Super cool. So you can absolutely find your favorite color with the more Kyber crystals. Well, Grebos, that's it for today's mod showcase. I brought you nine mods to help you on your way to becoming the ultimate Jedi. I hope you download them. And listen, if you're new to downloadable content, why not consider subscribing? Poof, it's free. All you have to do is click the button down below, join up, and I'll greatly appreciate it. I want to say a special thank you to all of my patrons listed here on screen. Thank you so much. Thanks for supporting a lunatic like me. And if you guys want to be super awesome, you can also join the Patreon as well. Link is in the description along with the other mods. Anyway, I'm Rob from Downloadable Content. Thank you so much for stopping by. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video.